Hey there, Scorpio. Hope your guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for your highest good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio. Talking about Scorpio, please. What are we talking about? Social media. Two more. Mystery. Reconciliation. Regret. This one's feeling regret watching you on social media. They want to reconcile. They want to bring something back into union. Your energy is mysterious. This person can't read you. They thought they were able to read you, but they can't. What's overall energy for Scorpio, please? Look at you stepping into your full limitless energy. I'm a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality, and this is what you're doing. So it's like you've got somebody here watching you manifest this dream life for yourself and they are fascinated by you. You're a being of love. You release all negative energy. You have fully restored peace in your vessel because you have made peace with your past so it doesn't interrupt the present here. That's good. You're a being of love. Keep releasing, releasing that negative energy. And this is what you're fully embracing is your growth. You're expanding your consciousness, your awareness. So you have grown because you are stepping into your growth, you have access to this abundant energy, this limitless energy. You know, you're no longer placing limits on self. That's good. I just heard that song. I watched you change. So this person's watched you transform into something here. Let me get one for Scorpio. This one's been hiding back how they feel. This is somebody that thought you was wearing a mask. The, the the mask is like, there is no mask. Somebody is seeing that you're not wearing a mask, that you are who you say you are. Ooh, this person's been holding back how they truly feel about you. Tell me more. Let me get another one. This one's trying to learn how to overcome fear. You've lit something in this person. This person sees you moving through fear. Like you've overcome a lot of challenges. They see that you have... No longer kept yourself stuck in cycles repeating over and over and over again. You've overcome a lot of fear-based energy. Like you, That's another reason why you're in this limitless energy because you've overcome this fear. That's beautiful. And you have obtained so much wisdom on your journey. You've had so many life lessons that have had you... It's, it's, it's turned you into a guru. Like, you are very wise. You, who You're very seasoned in all areas of your life. Like, so wise. This person looks you looks at, looks at you as very wise. There's more to you than meets the eye. Beauty and brains, I just heard. Like, yeah, you're, man, you definitely got this person looking at you in a whole different lighting now. Scorpio, thank you. You're clearing that negative energy away. As I focus on the positive, the negative as I focus on the positive, the negative energy gradually dissipates, and that's what you're doing. All this negativity is being cleared out of your energy, your vessel, all removed. You're a powerful alchemist. You know how to transmute energy. That's good. And because you've been doing this, you're restoring balance in your life, balancing living your physical life with your spiritual path. So you have found that fine line balance when it comes to your home life, your work life, your spiritual path. You know how to like juggle many things in one time. Like you know how to juggle so many problems and you know how to like overcome those problems. Most wouldn't be able to juggle all the, the challenges that you've had to overcome. And you look, you do it with grace. You make it look easy. Oh, they said flip another one back and I can see why. Because this growth, you're always learning and growing and improving yourself. You're increasing your value to the world. So this growth looks good on you. And somebody's recognizing your growth. They see your growth. It's a beautiful thing. Scorpio. Scorpio. The energy is gaining momentum. Your energy is gaining momentum. This person's trying to come towards you. Their, their energy is gaining momentum. They're trying to come back and reconcile something here with you. Your energy is just on the, on the come up. You've learned to surrender to the divine. You've learned to surrender your path, the the lessons that you've encountered. You're, you're moving through the lessons, seeing the lessons for what they are, applying the lessons, learning from the lessons, and then releasing the, those lessons. That's good. You know how to surrender to the divine. You have 
also practice the art of detachment and that is also pulling this abundance towards you because you're you're letting oh, I'm getting chills you're letting go of control and you're not trying to hold on to the outcome run after the outcomes you are simply learning that everything is already mine and it's going to line up right when it's meant to and I'm not going to force it fight it I'm just going to flow with the universe and that's what you're doing good Scorpio Ooh, I'm getting chills Scorpio thank you emotions that's that alchemist energy transmuting all those dark dense emotions that you've had stored up in your vessel and you're releasing all of that you're transmuting that you're turning your pain into power some of you guys are turning your pain into profit that's beautiful honoring the flow of all emotions processing them owning your sensitivity so if you're like me you've had a lot of people try to like project things onto you tell you you're too sensitive you're crazy you're this you're that you're none of those things. This is you just releasing all of those projections that people have tried to place over your life throughout the years. This is learning to release it and let it go. Learning to process and channel your emotions in healthy ways and not using coping mechanisms to suffocate your emotions and not deal with them. This is taking your emotions head on and making them your bee. <laughs> the way I talk sometimes. The meaning is in the middle, so life, presence, and depth. So this is about you seeing the whole meaning of your life, your journey, everything that you've had to overcome, everything that you've had to like take on, the obstacles. This is you looking at life in a totally different lens, no longer looking through life through trauma lenses, no longer looking through life through pain, trauma pain. This is like done with it, releasing the trauma. You're stepping into your life's purpose because of this. You're very in-depth and very in tune with who you are and what you are fully capable of doing and so is this person watching you do this as well they're amazed and it's it's intimidating it's scary intimidating and they're amazed by you they they they're like wow you're a freaking powerhouse is what this person's like tell me about social media this one's watching your social media tell me about that you just have eyes watching you tell me about social media oh this one's very fixated on you watching you obsessively watching you have your good news watching you just crush goals watching you step into this confidence like man you've definitely got just so you've just got eyes watching you watching you become successful watching you just gain a lot of victory and success on your journey and you've got eyes noticing this somebody wants to come towards you with the quickness this is somebody that wants this foundation with you they see something solid with you they they see you like they see you laying out a solid foundation for yourself. So this social media, like watching you heavily, watching you do your thing. Somebody wants to come towards you with an apology, an emotional gesture towards you. This is somebody that can no longer hold back from you. They want this connection with you. They see how, how self-made you are, how grounded you are, how nurturing you are, how determined you are. You're not budging off your path. You're not letting anybody take anything from you again. And that's a beautiful thing. And this person likes that about you, that you, you're a fighter. You don't give up. You keep showing up for yourself. You keep overcoming things that most wouldn't be able to do. And you've got a lot of people watching you overcome so many mountains in your life. Beautiful. Talk about this mystery energy. You're very mysterious. Like there's just things about yourself that you're learning. Dormant things about yourself that you have not been available to you because you were operating out of a place of trauma and pain and now that you've activated yourself you've oh i'm getting chills after you activated yourself and you see yourself for who you truly are you're not letting anybody take that from you again that's beautiful you're freaking beautiful tell me about mystery you're an enigma you're different this person you got this person going from a single life to wanting this relationship with you this person was going back and forth, debating, do I want to stay single, do I want to commit? But now you've got them changing everything up because of you. Like, they want, they see this commitment with you. You're so committed to your path here. Nothing's going to knock you off your path at all. You're very self-sufficient, self-made, flourishing, thriving, glowing, attracting. That's what you've got coming towards you because you're fully embracing who you are. That's beautiful. Man, you got this person that looks at you as you are the prize. Up at night, stressing, overthinking is what this one's been doing. Again, they, they you've, you've had a lot of people try to like 
label you throughout your years. And all of these people are being humbled by what they were saying about you, the titles that they were throwing on you, the, the dirt, the hate. It's all coming out. All of the hatred, all of the nasty energies that kept trying to come for you throughout all of these years, it's all coming out. That's why all these people mouths are on the floor. They can't believe what they're seeing with your life. Keep being you. Keep showing up for yourself. You're beautiful. You're the star. You're the star of the show. And boy, our eyes watching you. You've leveled up. You've obtained so much knowledge and wisdom for yourself throughout your journey. You are different than the others. And this person is realizing this. This person's been watching you slowly make progress. So there's something about your journey where you had to go through some slow moments. You were never stuck. You were always making progress, even if it didn't look like it. You were always making progress moving forward. Nothing can keep you stuck. So, like I said, if things feel like they're slowing down, don't give up on yourself. Sometimes it be like that, but always show up for yourself mastering your craft this is you mastering self this is you mastering mastering your emotions your your career like who you're meant to be this is you mastering all of that for yourself that's beautiful you're such a hard worker you're oh i'm getting chills you're very dedicated you're very driven you're very passionate now that you've activated self that's beautiful you've got a lot of eyes just shook seeing you for who you are man you've had a lot of people just try to label you throughout the years and it ain't working anymore talking about reconciliation this person wants to reconcile they want a reunion they miss your energy your energy is like no other tell me about reconciliation yep you got this person thinking this person's wishing they would have never left something out in the cold they're hoping that you don't leave them out in the cold but you got this person really analyzing you thinking about you heavily so you could feel them pulling on your energy right now it's because they're thinking about you they're manifesting you because they're thinking about you there's no communication. That sword is down. This person's getting out of some kind of lack mentality. Ooh, they wish they wouldn't have left you out in the cold. But there's reasons that everything played out. Because you needed to step fully into who you were meant to be this whole time. So, man. You guys are mirroring each other. The queen to the king. So, you hold a mirror up to anybody that comes across you. You make people see their ways. Now, will they change? That's on them. But you activate people. So you, you mirror this energy back. You both are in this very detached energy right now where you've just been heavily mirroring each other. They want to have a conversation. Your sword's down too. So neither one of you are speaking right now. They want to invest. They, they see your investments. They see your growth. They want to fully invest into you. They want this Ten of Cups with you. This is somebody that feels like you could make them emotionally happy and they want to be that for you. They want to show up. They want to be this energy for you. I got regret. This person's regretting what they've done. They regret taking off. They regret ghosting. No closure. They regret the moves that they made when it comes to you. Tell me more about regret. Tell me more about regret. They regret listening to gossip too. There's some kind of gossiping that was like said about you and this person listened to that. They regret listening to that. The more that this person watches you, observes you, and see you and your true character the more that they realize that they messed this up by doing what they did. And now they're hoping they can revive this. Nine of Cups. This person felt like they were selfish. They made a selfish mistake. They're, they view you as this wish fulfillment. They see you pouring into yourself. They see you happy with self. And that's attracting this energy back towards you because of that. They regret not taking this love offer seriously. They regret not offering you their love. They regret not taking your love. They regret the choices that they made. They could have chose someone else over you, thinking that that was going to be a better fit for them. They're realizing they made the wrong choice. They wish they would have trusted their intuition. They wish they wouldn't have listened to the deception, the lies, the slander about you. And they are definitely in regret. They are definitely not happy with what they're seeing and and what they what they sided with. They're they're not happy about it. They're they're kicking themselves for how things played out. I've got water. Capricorn, fire, earth, earth, air, earth, air, and air here. You're learning, you're really learning how to like protect your energy, ground your energy, and you're learning to stand up for yourself and speak your truth. That's a beautiful thing. You've had a lot of people throughout the years didn't expect for you to speak your truth. No, an O are you. If you hear noise, my cat's eating. You were destined to, to cross paths with this person. 
This is about you being in the right place in the right time and connecting with certain individuals. You're meant to make an impact on people. You're meant to cross people's paths and challenge their thinking, challenge their, challenge them to change their ways. Like I said, not everybody will, but you, you're meant to come across people's paths to shake them up. This one's been heartbroken ever since what played out between the two of you. They want to send a message to you. They want to speak their feelings to you. They want to speak their truth. But speaking what, speaking with their emotions makes them nervous. That It challenges them. They don't know how to do it. And you both very well have these challenges where you have trouble expressing emotions. You're learning to stand up for yourself. You're learning to channel through your emotions. And you're learning to embrace yourself for who you are. Scorpio. Some of you guys, this is your twin flame. This is somebody that you have a past life with. This is your twin flame, your yin to your yang. Not everybody has a twin flame. You are your twin flame. Don't let titles keep you stuck. This is your mirrored soul. That's why you guys mirror each other so easily. Surprise. This person's shocked with what they're seeing. It was unexpected, the impact that you have on them. They're shocked about who you are. They, they're they just shocked. They, You just have a shocking value. A, let me say that again. You have a shock factor to you. And people are noticing this. Tell me more. This person was thinking logically. They've been, they was trying to use their head. They weren't letting their emotions get in the way. Because there's something about them just really detaching from their emotions. They've been hurt. but They've been guarding their heart. They've been protecting their emotions by not putting themselves back out there in a connection. That's... You brought up emotions in this person. This person's been thinking logically and rationally about this situation. And then there was other energies in this person's ear telling them to think logically. Don't don't go towards this person. They're not good. Like there was haters trying to get in the way of you. You're on this magical gateway. You're going for it. You're on the right path. And you just have wonderful new beginnings coming towards you. Especially when it comes to finances. Like you're a powerhouse. You're attracting everything towards you that was taken from you throughout the years. This person's obsessing over you. Could be some codependency issues. This person didn't want to be codependent on you. You're learning not to be codependent on others. Sorry, guys, my cat. Addictions and poor habits were definitely also part of your, your journey. Happened to release these poor habits, these addictions. And because you've been releasing that, you are also stepping into this full limitless energy because you're releasing the lower frequency things here. That's good. So this other person may have had some bad habits that they've had to clear up as well. You've, you've challenged this one to grow. Tell me more. So this person stayed in their comfort zone. They they stayed where it felt comfortable. Change is, un, change is scary. You're a fixed sign like I am. So routines are important and change is scary. So you've learned to move past the fear and embrace the fear and work through your fears to get to your new places on your journey here. That's good. This person stayed in a place of comfort because it just... it. Felt too scary to change then. But now they're wanting to make the changes. Something was definitely stuck and stagnant when it comes to the winter months. Could be fall, winter season here. Something was stuck and set back. But there was more growing that needed to take place. Tell me more. Yeah, you both had to go through this awakening. Slater, hey. Slaters, you don't need to scratch the side of that. You are such a silly cat. You've been going through your awakening. This person's had an awakening because of you. You're breaking free. You're blooming. That's why you're tapping into this limitless energy. You're connecting with your higher self. That's why you're attracting like effort things effortlessly towards you at this time. You're really tapping into with who you're meant to be. And boy, do you got eyes watching you bloom like the flower that you were meant to be your whole life. Tell me more. They feel like time is running out. They feel like they need to make a move towards you. They're feeling the pressure. They they know they got to act now. Because you're doing this. You're rising up. You're rising up. You're being recognized for who you are. You're just so many favorable outcomes coming for you. If you're in the public eye, you're meant to like reach a certain level of fame and fortune for yourself. And this is what you've got coming for you. So keep manifesting that. Don't give up on yourself. It's It's here. It's already here. Just let it line up when it's meant to. Betrayer of trust. This person's had their trust betrayed. You've had your trust betrayed. That's why there was so much resistance and guarded energy between the two of you. Someone could have tried to say that you're unfaithful. 
somebody's dealt with unfaithful already. That's why they just pulled away. This is like a protective energy. Don't want to share. Like we're like that too. We don't we don't do that sharing stuff. That ain't for me. Us. It ain't for us. So you may have had to work on some jealousy issues. That's okay. I, I have jealousy issues. I have to work through them. This is someone that is a protector. And once they commit, they ain't going to let nobody come in between you and them. Like, they don't play around. You've been having to cut away things in order to come into union. Cutting away things to, in order to, to come to home to self to s figure out who you are. Things had to be breaking up to, to bring back something more solid here. You're fully embracing your light. You're stepping into your confidence, your success, your enthusiasm. You just had a lot of energies try to like pull your confidence down throughout the years. And you're not playing it small anymore. Admirers. You may have, like, there may be more than one admirer watching you right now. Especially on this social media. You've got admirers watching you. You've got people from, just people that try to label you as certain things watching you. Like, they can't believe what they're seeing. And then you just got admirers watching you do your thing. And you've got this... This twin of yours, this person of yours watching you. There's a great connection. It's a perfect match. You guys are very compatible and it's a quick connection. This, that's why this person didn't feel safe to proceed forward because it felt so scary how, how much feeling they felt so soon. It, it spooked them. So they did this. They ran away. They ghosted. They, they just stopped. They, something about this person's emotions that they've been trying to hold back. You're no longer holding yourself back. You're, you're practicing self-control. And this person can no longer deny how they feel about you. You're lighting the way for this person. You are setting an example. You are, you, you, you set examples for people. You challenge people to look at life differently. That's what your mission is to like shake things up in people's lives. And boy, are you. This person looked at you as the light of their life. They can't believe what they see. You just got people that are shook with who you are. Scorpio. So someone could have said that you were fake flexing. You were show off. We like what we like. We're not trying to show off. So you've got a lot of people's mouths being shut right now because of what they were saying about you. All It's all silence now. A bunch of crickets. A bunch of haters were running their mouth talking about you and it's all silent now. Tell me more. This person's into you. They feel the chemistry off of you. They feel like they want to be their best self because of you. They, they know that this is something that could have great potential between the two of you. There's just eyes that are into you. Like, you're attracting more than one energy towards you. Like, just people become very... Allure, they're, they're, you're very allure, alluring. Is that right? Luring, alluring? Does that sound right? You, you just attract people towards you. You're very magnetic. This person can't stop thinking about you. They're dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, daydreaming about you. Like they are just constantly have thoughts of you. So there could be like, for some of you, you could have like an, a more than one past energy trying to come back here and like trying to like butter up to you because they see what you're doing with your life. So anybody that didn't see your value when they had you in their life. They don't get to come back. They don't get to be part of this new journey. This is this is your level up. Don't let anybody try to come back. Tell me more. Tell me more. Thank you. These groupies. There's definitely a bunch of groupies watching you. Just got a bunch of people watching you right now. They're all in shock seeing you. Seeing you in your true lighting of who you are, who you were this whole time. Whole group of people couldn't try to take you out. That's how powerful you are. Tell me more. This person just moved on and didn't think that this was going to be anything. But, oh, this person can't move on. Now they're worried that you're moving away from them. Tell me more. That came out again. I should have took it. Somebody tried to, like, take some... You've had a lot of people just try to take things that belong to you throughout the years. And you're taking everything back that was stolen from you. So... Man, someone could have tried to paint you out as something that you're not. You just had a lot of people just try to put you... Just try to label you as something that you're not. Tell me more. Fake smiles. You've been around, surrounded by fake smiles your entire life. That's why when some of these fake smiles try to come back in your life because it's your winning season, don't let them have access to you. They don't deserve you. They didn't see your worth. 
They didn't respect you when they had you when you were at your low point. They don't get to be a part of you at your high point. Tell me more. This person wants to come towards you and they want to travel. They want to travel towards you. They want to travel with you. You could have plans of wanting to travel and see the world. I know I do. I'm getting, I'm moving around and seeing some things. So tell me more. This one's in their head analyzing you. You just got people analyzing you right now. This one's stressed thinking about how things played out between the two of you. Tell me more. You're over here unbothered. The, the hate, you've dealt with so much hatred in your life that you, you know how to transmute it. You know how to move through it because you've just had a lot of people just try to label you throughout the years and it's not working anymore. You're so unbothered by anybody that tries to come up against you. Tell me more. Someone could have said that you were, you know, bankrupt, had money issues. And some of you guys went through this, these money issues at one time. Not anymore, because this is where you're tapping in now, that abundance. This is where you're, you no longer have limits placed over you anymore. That's beautiful. So you just have a lot of people that just are not doing well themselves financially, and you're on the come up. So just keep that in mind with these past energies trying to come back. I'm not talking about this twin flame. I'm talking about other past energies. So somebody, they, you got people not doing well financially, and they see you on the come up. You're no longer haunted by your trauma. You're no longer letting your trauma hold you hostage anymore. That's good. You're moving through the trauma. You're seeing the trauma for what it is. You're learning from the trauma. You're growing from the trauma. You've had a lot of people that know that you've been through a lot of traumatic events in your life and they didn't expect for you to turn into the powerhouse that you are at this time. And oh, they see in it. Tell me more. Some of you guys are definitely planning on moving, moving away. Moving away from like these old connections that you've dealt with. You, they've reached their expiration date. And you're no longer in alignment with them. Tell me more. Okay, so somebody ran from you. Someone could have got like a faulty tarot reading on you. Somebody fed somebody the wrong information about you. Someone tried to say you were dark. Somebody's definitely getting readings on you. Somebody was definitely fed the wrong information about this connection. And somebody's realizing that that's what happened. So you got to trust where you get your information from. You're running away. Like, you're running into your highest timeline. You're really tapping into your full magic abilities here. That's a beautiful thing. You're no longer downplaying who you are anymore. You've had some happiness haters try to come up against this union. Could have um, grew up in environments where there was abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse. Someone could have said that you were a bad parent, that you didn't have your stuff together, like you just weren't a good person. So, again, all of those illusions are being shattered. What anybody was saying about you, it's all being shattered now. Some people don't understand that karma can come pay a visit years later down the road. You just never know. That's why you always treat everybody with dignity and respect. Somebody's looking through your comments now. So you've got some kind of like karmic energy that's watching you right now. So you've got this twin flame that's coming back. And then there's like an obsessive karmic energy also watching you. That's the energy that I'm picking up on that you don't want to ha let have access to you again. You've had a lot of energies try to paint you out as something possessive, unhealthy, karmic energies, but that's what they are. They're the karmics. Moving in silence, somebody definitely tried to force you to, to fit in that box, and you're not staying in any boxes anymore that anybody tries to keep you stuck in. You're breaking out of them. You're learning to move in silence. You're unfazed by these haters. You're you're so unfazed by it. You've, you've just dealt with a lot of bullcrap throughout your years, and you're just done with it. You're so unfazed and unbothered. You've had a lot of people try to sneak attack you, trying to smile on your face and then try to jab you and just think it was all fun and games by hurting you. That's disgusting. And again, you're just unfazed by it. You could care less. Scorpio. Justice. Somebody could work in the justice system. There's definitely justice coming in like you're being vindicated everything's being balanced out for you karma is coming to pay some of these haters a visit for what they were saying about you throughout the years it's all coming back for them somebody definitely works for the justice system government so this is a warning message to let you know not to let any of these karmic energies come back because they see you on the come up so warning and then the karmics are trying to make this counterpart this twin flame of yours trying to make it seem like you were not a good person like don't like 
emergency. Don't go near this person. They're not good. That's all coming out as well. Tell me more. You know how to change the environment. You can you take control by, of your environment by controlling. You control the environment by controlling self. And that's a beautiful thing. You've had so many people try to control your environment. And it's not happening anymore. Like you're changing everything up for you. That's beautiful. Tell me more. Gangers, there's been somebody trying to copy you as well. So that's another one of these haters that have been trying to copy everything about you. You can't copy us. I could say something right now. I'm not going to do it. Hater. Good doppelgangers trying to copy you. They want to tear you down and, and make you look like you're nothing, but then they're trying to be you, make it make sense. Angry. Got some angry haters mad because they're seeing you rising up. They're mad that they couldn't stop the, the hate train that they were trying to pull on you. It ain't working anymore. Tell me more. You're not letting distractions knock you off path anymore. There's been a lot of distractions that's been trying to get in the way of this, this union here. And you're, you're not running from yourself anymore. You're fully embracing yourself. That's beautiful. Tell me more. You are the power, you have the power out of your bloodline. You've had your DNA activated. You're fully stepping into your highest timeline here. So anybody that tried to come up against you, like your ancestors are handling them. You've had some spiritual tests that you've had to overcome and oh, have you overcome them with grace and ease. You make it look easy, but oh, it's there's more to it. So many spiritual tests that were getting in the way of this union. Someone could have painted you out as like a, a promiscuous, that you were just sleeping around with just anybody. Your person may have been entertaining this lifestyle and they weren't ready to give this lifestyle up yet when it comes to you. Tell me more. Oh, I didn't see any. Okay. You're happy. That's because you're, you, you're balanced because you're happy. You're comfortable with self. You're confident in self. You're, you're, you're radiating. You're glowing because you love yourself unconditionally. This drama could not take you out. All of this drama that's tried to come up against you throughout the years, they're all going to start seeing their ways. They're all going to start like... who? So these groups of people that were trying to come up against you, they're all about to start turning on each other. All that drama that they tried to create for you is going right back to them. Tell me more. And you know how to love yourself, doing nice things for yourself, taking yourself out to eat, taking yourself shopping, taking yourself on a trip. This is what you're doing for yourself. That's beautiful. This is what I'm doing for myself as well. No more selling short. Tell me more. Could be seeing eights right now. Eights represent abundance, money coming towards you. So if you see those repeating eights, that's a beautiful thing. You're breaking the chains. You are the chain breaker of your bloodline. No hold, no more holding back. You're learning how to channel natural ways of healing yourself. You're learning how to move through your pain. You're no longer trying to medicate your mind, trying to like, try, you're no longer trying to suffocate those emotions that have been trying to like keep you stuck your whole life. You're, you're channeling your emotions. You're moving through your emotions and you're healing. You're doing things in a more natural way now. That's good. And you're the phoenix rising. You are reclaiming your power back. You're on the rise. And this person wants to come back. They're, they're sorry for how things played out. They really do feel bad for what happened. Tell me more. So there's something about your holy energy. You've had a lot of people try to say that you weren't holy, that you were dark, you were this, but your boy, God is shining a light on you. You're just your ancestors, your spirit team, your angels, what whatever you believe in, it's shining on you. It's shining through you. Now a lot of you guys are wanting to get off the grid. I know this is what I'm going towards. I'm getting away from the city life. I'm going I'm going towards this. I'm getting off the grid. So a lot of you guys are also wanting to move off grid, wanting to get away from certain people. And you're gonna have the the you're gonna have the monetary gain to be able to do all this for yourself. 
You're no longer stuck. You've had so many people try to render you powerless and you're not powerless. You move through that dark energy. You move through it. You're no longer stuck. And you are stepping into your power. Boss lady. This is what you are. You're bossing up. You went from a bad girl. So a lot of you guys have this rebel streak to you as well. So you've had a lot of people try to pin you as something bad. And if you're like me, you've I've been in this scene. I, you know, I've done some things in my life. So bad energy it's you're no longer labeled as bad like you're moving through like there's something about rules that you don't like rules you don't like people placing things on you and it stops now it, it's not going to happen anymore this is you embracing this is and again this is no longer like hiding and running from yourself this is fully embracing your shadow and your light side so be confident in this bad girl energy it's who you are you just had a lot of people that hate on you because you can stand firm in this energy so don't let anybody take that from you you're having like new experiences when it comes to your vessel. Someone could have been trying to like astro project to you. Like your twin flame is definitely trying to do this. And then you just could have had some hating energies that were just trying to like get in your dream state and that's not working anymore. You that's exactly what's happened. You're repelling these haters away. You're you're learning how to protect your energy and stand up for yourself. That's a beautiful thing. So again, like you're you're not letting these old cycles keep you stuck in those cycles. You're moving through the pain. Like you're smiling. You you know how to keep a smile on your face and then you know how to break down when you're by yourself. So you're not giving anybody the power to see you break down. You do you only do that for yourself. You have your moments where you break down, you move through that and you release it and you keep forward with your journey. So you're very powerful. Oh, they said move another one. This is what you've got coming towards you, these money trees. Something about investments, making your spirit team, your ancestors, your angels, your spirit guides, they want you to start making wise investments when it comes to this cash flow manifesting in your life currently. So, ching, ching, ching goes the money tree for you, sir, ma'am. Scorpio. This person, only you, this person sees you. Like, they want to be a devoted to you. They want this with you. They crave you. And you're just being at peace. You've just made peace with so many things in your life, and that's a beautiful thing. And you've restored so much har harmony in your life because you're doing this. Man, you've got some, like, some of you guys have some nasty friends that are trying to come back and make peace with you as well because they see you on the come up i would not let certain people have access to this new you tell me more there's been some kind of blocked emotions because of the family like where you've so it all stemmed from childhood the trauma stemmed from childhood could be like family members that were trying to come up against this union as well you're learning not to let your family pull you away from who you are anymore as well. You're unapologetically loving who you are and you don't care what anybody is saying about you. Your person, your counterpart, your twin, they are also learning how to do the same thing. Like you're showing this person how to, to do things. Like they're seeing you in your glory. Tell me more. You are the divine feminine. This person's realizing this. You've had a lot of karmics try to pin you out as a karmic, but you are the divine feminine. And there it is again, spying, watching you, observing. Like, there's a lot of people watching you right now. Can't believe what they see. A lot of people, like, are... Up so you've got some people upset that you're not operating out of sorrow and pain like you once were. And then you've got this twin of yours in their feelings watching you, seeing you in your glory. And you're just learning to release and let go. This twin had made a mistake when it comes to you. Like, you're practicing detachment at this time. And this twin sees this about you. Like, they made a mistake when it comes to you. They're realizing they made a mistake. And they're trying to, to, to right their wrongs when it comes to you. You just got a lot of people trying to return in your life altogether. So, I would not let these haters have access to me. Because they didn't see your value when they had you. And now they want you back because you're on the come up. No. Scorpio. Comparing yourself to others keeps you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame and continues to separate you from your blessings. It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come too. And this is like, again, 
no longer comparing yourself to others. This is you understanding who you are and just fully loving who you are and understanding that your time is coming. It's here. And that's why all these haters get to watch you be in your glory. Don't be afraid to say I love you or thank you to those who deserve to hear it. Don't be scared of embarrassing yourself or appearing soppy. You will never regret a heartfelt I love you or a message of appreciation. Your love will only regret, you will only regret ever not saying it. So this person knows that they got to speak on how they feel. And this is you no longer like feeling shame or guilt for loving yourself by putting love out there. No longer letting anybody keep you stuck in these boxes that people have been trying to keep you stuck in all your life. Like you're breaking out of those boxes. That's a beautiful thing. So just give the haters a show because they're watching. So, all right, my beautiful Scorpio, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.